Hey guys, I'm Michael Doe with Pro Speed Baseball and with this tip you're going to be able to swing so hard your bat will catch on fire. Now guys, I got this great hitting drill for you today and it's going to show you two things. First of all, it's going to show you how to get crazy awesome bat speed and the second thing it's going to show you is why we get crazy awesome bat speed. And um, if, if you've played any kind of sports or you know there's always you know, a couple guys out there, they don't look like they're real strong or look like they're real fast, but they're really strong and really fast. And we always wonder, well, why? Like, well, we say it's natural and that's true to some extent, but what happens for those guys is that their neurons simply fire much faster. The things that go on in our brains, the signals that send out, say, hey, I'm opening and closing my hand. My brain's telling myself to do that. It's all about training those neurons to go faster. So what, what, what that means simply is, the faster we can fire our neurons, the faster we can do things like pick up bat speed, throw a ball harder, hit harder, those kind of things, because we can move faster. So those guys that look a little smaller and all those things you know, that are strong, you know, all, they're really, all they're really doing is they're firing their neurons faster than you are. Now what's great about this is you can train your neurons to fire faster by doing this drill. So we're going to talk about this for bat speed and this is why I have a much lighter, much smaller bat today is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start training my neurons to swing the bat faster. And what this does is I can swing this light bat here, let me grab my wood bat, so you guys can see this is a much smaller, lighter bat than my wood bat. So obviously I'll be able to swing this one at a much higher speed and then all of a sudden my brain's going to start saying like, well, my hands are going faster and it's going to learn how to do it faster and faster. And this is kind of contradictory to, you know, using like a heavy bat or something like that, where it really kind of slows you down because you're actually moving slower. So it's all about the speed. Now, to set this drill up, obviously this bat's a lot shorter. You can use, still use the perfect T setup and I'll put a link to that right here. And what you do is get in there and you can, you know, you can line your barrel up with it just like the perfect T setup. And what you're gonna do is simply just swing the holy heck out of the bat and hit this ball as fast and as hard as you can. So where this isn't a big technique drill, although we wanna make sure we're still doing the big things correct. So what we're gonna do is get into that perfect T setup and just, just as fast and as hard as we can. Okay, so, oh, swung so hard my, uh, my uh, radio thing came off here, but now, what we want to make sure we do when we're doing this light bat drill is that we're not getting crazy and go, letting the bat get away from us and pulling everything to the side. So I would say in this light bat drill, get in your setup and everything wants to be shot straight up the middle or to right field. Anything left of that is going to start hurting your swing a little bit, but make sure you keep those parameters. They're pretty easy ones. And a great way to do that, especially when your hands are going really fast, is to, this is a great feeling to have is to make sure that your hands feel like they're getting past the ball before the barrel. So you see the barrel's lagging behind my hands. And this is a great one to feel for this drill so that you're not getting, you know, you're not cheating this drill and letting the barrel come around the hands. So getting the hands past that ball is a great feeling. Now it won't exactly turn out like that, but it's gonna help you stay inside the ball and hit it through the middle or right field a lot better. And if you do that and you do this drill, you know, I would say do this drill a good 50 times, three times a week and you're really gonna see some significant changes in your bat speed. Now doing this light bat drill is just one variable out of a ton of things that you can do to really pick up your bat speed. And if you want some more great tips on picking up bat speed and really starting developing a lot of power in the swing, go ahead and check out the power hitting series right here. I'll even play a preview of one of the, a uh, clip of one of the videos in our power hitting series at the end of this. Uh, if you click on the link in the preview or in the description below, you can see that whole series absolutely free. It's gonna show you a lot of things to really help complement things like the, the light bat drill because you really need a very like a wide variety of things to really start getting really really good professional like bat speed and you can even do this as you know young to you know I do this with my pro guys to my six-year-olds you know it's it's for everyone so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions comments leave them in the uh, comment section below like the video subscribe good luck with your games guys and I'll see you guys soon this is so detrimental for bat speed if we don't rotate on our backside, we will now cut off our hips. We can only turn so far. Now if we rotate all the way on our backside, I now have free range to rotate my hips, and that employs the big muscles in the hips that gives you a lot of bat speed in the swing. 
Now the second reason this is so detrimental is we can't get a proper weight shift and we can't get our energy going in the right places. If you ever watch Bryce Harper hit and he gets to contact, we know that his back foot gets up off the ground. Watch him in slow motion. His back foot is up off the ground at contact. And the reason this is, is he gets the proper weight shift to the front side.